St. Louis, Missouri is known for many things, such as the baseball cardinals, fabulous blues music, and thought-provoking art. And it looks like the art, so, <laughs> and that's intentional. Judith Shaw is one of the St. Louis artists who's finally getting recognized for her work. It's called self-denial. But more on that in a minute. Judith began her life on a path that would lead her to a husband, two sons, and a life she thought she was in full control of, which is where this story begins. I actively engaged in eating disorder behavior for about 15 years. I can't think of the words, I can't come up with the words to um, really communicate the, the grasp, the grip that anorexia had on me. Judith needed help and decided to come to St. Louis to seek treatment five years ago. And my first piece, when I arrived in treatment, I was given the assignment to do a written timeline of dates and events that would have predisposed me to an eating disorder. And I just thought, oh, they don't get me. I don't, you know, I was just really resistant to this assignment and um, I didn't do it. And so I had this idea of how to represent my eating disorder and I did a life-size paper tracing. I, I laid down on a piece of paper and someone traced my body and I cut it out and um, I wanted it to stand. And it was kind of became a metaphor because I could barely stand at that time. These are just other things that um, kind of interest me. I'm and so Judith found a new calling and a way to express herself and her disorder through her beautiful artwork. I've uncovered, you know, that I'm an artist at heart. I work with a lot of found objects that, and so whenever I see anything, I could be at the supermarket or I could be driving and, or I could be passing, um, you know, something along the highway and I just see something that like grabs me. It's like a material that looks like something that describes how I feel. A observation, of a, something that I was experiencing inside and then I had the place to put it. Each one has a backstory that isn't evident to the viewer. So the one that's on the cover of my book, which is called Somebody, you know, that was done after a meal and I put plaster on my torso and I, you know, intentionally, so just the whole process of making that where I had to put Vaseline on my body. So kind of getting to befriend myself and allowing the belly to be full. Next to it, I show just a very straight and narrow cardboard box and that piece is called Nobody. I mean, at one point in my life, I really wanted to be as thin as that Box. I thought I would, I would really be happy if I could be as thin as that, you know, straight and narrow box. But then to see, you know, with this full body, I feel so much more of a somebody. You know, you can't be somebody with no body. Judith is somebody now whose work is being used at medical schools across the country. I don't think that many physicians, except for those who are trained in the field of eating disorders, really understand what goes on in the minds of anyone with an eating disorder. So I was just thrilled that it was being used in this way. Yeah, I really missed out on a, a lot of the richness that comes with being a full-fledged woman. I feel like in many ways I'm living as, I'm discovering who I am for the first time in my life and I'm 58 years old. While, my, while the work tells the story of an eating disorder and my recovery that it really, there's a raw universality to the work that a lot of us have some kind of hole, something that we're trying to fill, something that we don't feel quite complete about in our lives. And so I think the artwork speaks to so many people on that level. For photographers Nina Bocchini and Tamara Patterson, reporting for Ladue View, I'm Don Goble.